And this is what you need to know about how the glute max work when running. Do you use your glutes when you run? Well, of course you do. Quite a lot, actually. But over the years, I actually noticed that a lot of runners don't know where and when they use the glute max. And that can make them to start to run in a way that actually makes them less efficient and can also cause various types of pains. For instance, pain in the lower back. And in this video, you'll learn how to avoid falling into that trap. Every runner knows that your glute max, your buttocks, are important for running. You only have to look at them, how big they are, to realize that they must be important. The problem is to understand when in the gait cycle they are used. If you do like this, I can feel I'm activating my glute max. And therefore, it's easy to think that it is precisely here, when I push off that last bit before the foot leaves the ground, that the activity in the muscle is the greatest. But that is not the case. Just before toe off, here, there is virtually no activity at all. Here, it's completely relaxed. Well, how do I know this? Well, it can be measured with a muscle activation meter that is attached to the muscle. And that will tell you when and how a muscle is activated. And it's not here. Instead, your glute max is activated the most here in mid stance. That is when you have landed and put the most weight on your foot. This is where your glute max produces the most power. Your bum catches you so you don't collapse and fall to the ground. It's a very short activation. It gets activated and it's stretched out a little bit and then automatically contracts so that there is a bit of a bounce. Which means that when the foot has arrived here, there is not much activity left. And when the foot is back here, in this last phase when many runners I have met believe that the activity is at its peak and they think they use the glutes the most, the muscle is more or less completely relaxed. Glute max is activated one more time during the gait cycle and that is here. At the end of the swing phase, when the leg is moving forward and the glute max is activated to prevent your leg, your thigh, from going further forward. So the two times in the gait cycle when you use your glute max is at mid stance and here to stop the leg from moving further forward. And these are measurable facts. Before I tell you why you can be less efficient and get pain in your lower back by thinking that you should actively try to push off with your bum that last bit of the push off, I just want to quote what research says about when glute max is activated when running. Let's start with the study The Human Gluteus Maximus and its role in running. And I quote, the major functions of the glute maximus during running are to control flexion of the trunk and to decelerate the swing leg. The muscle also stabilizes the hip laterally. And as it is phrased by the study, gluteal muscle activity during running in asymptomatic people, I quote, during running, all gluteal segments presented peak amplitude during the stance phase, end of quote. Stance phase, here. And it works the same with your calves and Achilles tendon. Just look at this beautiful video by the Montana Running Lab on the Instagram. If you don't already follow them, do so Montana Running Lab. Here you can see when the Achilles tendon is most activated. It's not a toe off, it's at mid stance. Exactly the same way the, your glute max works. So you shouldn't try to push off the last bit with your calves either. That will lead to no good. So what's the problem then with thinking that you should actively try to push off with your glute max that last bit in your push off? Well, what I have seen with many runners is that they send their feet too far back. 
And since the thigh bone cannot move back so far in relation to the pelvic bone, the hip is pulled backwards, which can both lead to a kind of a seated running style, which is not so effective, and that you can get a pain in your lower back when you arch it like this. So if you have been trying to juice your glute max in that last part just before the foot leaves the ground to get that extra powerful push off, well, just stop it. That's not how it's supposed to work and it doesn't work like that. And you won't be helped and at the best it will only make it harder to run. At worst you can get pain in your lower back. And you also get a running style that is not very attractive. And that's all for today. Apart from words of wisdom for runners, of course, coming up in a few seconds. And if you liked this video, I hope you can click like and above all, tell your running friends about my channel and where they can find information about how running really works. See you in the next video. Look over there, a running shoe shop with a sale. But darling, you already have so many pairs of running shoes.